welcome back guys to my YouTube. First time tuning in, I am IFBB Pro John Jewett. I am documenting my prep for the New York Pro and I'm currently seven weeks out. And for, for those who missed last time, <clears throat> so I've been showing some workouts but also letting Matt Jansen, my coach, give some insight into the diet changes that he's making and what we're doing cardio and, and everything. And from last week, I hit a body weight low of around, it was around 230, and we had done like three refeed days. Pretty much my weight didn't really change. Um, it wasn't that large of a refeed to make a huge impact. And since then, since having the refeeds, I've been back in my normal diet plan, which, uh, you know, was about 190 grams of carbs, 370 grams of protein, and 30, 40 grams of fat. These are, I'm just close estimates of what it is. <clears throat> and my weight just kept coming down this past week. I hit a low of 226.8 on Wednesday morning. And that's when I sent all my stuff to Matt. Overall, uh, you know, energy's been okay. Pumps are kind of moderate to mild. You know, it's no nothing standout. You get a pump, but it fades fairly quickly. Uh, strength, strength, though, relatively is staying well. And I actually am improving lifts. And if, stay tuned because I do have like a really good quad session that I do and really fight for some reps and talk about, you know, why it's important to log book on prep and, and what that does for your, for your look. <clears throat> so, um, but strength stayed, stayed good. And just with consideration where I'm at, and I will let Matt talk about what we're doing with the refeed, but um, he, we just did a harder refeed. And through doing that, uh, it was like about 700 grams of carbs, same amount of protein and fats. So just adding, just adding carbohydrates in. Um, there was like, uh, if you want to count, you know, there was some fats within the muffin. I was a muffin in, in the refeed, so there was some extra fats there. Um, but just to give you an idea, and I'll post it below. If y'all want to see the full refeed day, I posted it below, and uh, y'all y'all can see everything that I had for that day. <clears throat> So I did that, that full day, and then about uh, the next day, we did another refeed, about half that amount. And that brought my body weight up to 231, so it actually had an impact, pretty good impact, um, roughly a four or five pound increase. And now I'm just um, coming back down slowly. You know, I, I just uh, went back to that original plan of 190 grams of carbs and 30, 40 grams of fat, and same protein, three, 370 grams of protein. And this morning, so this is, I'm gonna, this is uh, up on Monday. This is Monday morning when I'm talking here. Um, I am 228.6. So weight has come back down quite a bit. Um, and Matt's made some changes for us, for me. And we're gonna start pushing it a little bit harder. And I'm gonna let him, him cover those changes. And I did do cardio this morning. So that's the first time that I've had cardio in, I, I believe it's been seven weeks. I think we stopped 14 weeks out when I started doing cardio and it's been about seven weeks of no cardio. And so now it's just time to push harder, you know, um, bring conditioning, uh, I'm in a good spot. And you can see here, I'll, here's my picks. You can see these, these are, these are the day after the reefy day. So this is in the morning, I was 231 and you know, good fullness. I mean, I have well, you know, good lines in my glutes. I mean, my conditioning is really good for uh, seven weeks out. It's at a good spot, but just this next push that we're doing, we'll bring it in um, as tight as we can. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I found some different, a different spot in my apartment to take the pictures. That's why they're, they're different. I usually take pictures in front of my window, but I've been getting up so early and, and with the time change, it's dark out. So um, I have to like set up lights and I'm not, you know, I don't want to do that. So this is going to be really consistent lighting for me. And you know, that's important. Like I want to send whatever I send Matt, I want it to be very consistent and repeatable. And that's the best with like artificial lighting. And you know, it's a light that's in front of me fair, relatively and there's not casting too many shadows. So, um, not to get off about taking pictures <laughs> on a tangent here. Um, but anyway, that's uh, my update for the week on my diet and cardio changes. I'll, I'll turn it over to Matt, and he can go a little bit more in depth on what we did with the refeeds. Again, below, I posted the refeed diet, and I also posted the new diet changes that Matt made, so y'all can see those as well. Then we'll go into some quad tra training. 
What's up guys, we are seven weeks out now, uh, and the biggest change that I made for John this week is, as opposed to up to this point, um, all of his refeeds have basically held his weight, so it prevented his weight from further dropping, which I felt like where his conditioning was at, where the progress he was making, that was what we needed to do up until now. Um, he hit a low around the 226 range this week, and, and before we made this next conditioning push, I actually wanted to get his weight up and stable for a few days, so I really pushed the refeed. He did a day and a half refeed this time, which it was a lot more calories than normal. Um, and, and we can actually lay those calories out for you. But the difference in this refeed was that I wanted to get his weight up and actually get some energy reserve because if you're refeeding as he was up to this point and his weight wasn't moving, realistically, you're not getting that much of a significant change. So basically his weight was holding for like one to two days and then coming back down. This time I wanted to get his weight up actually. So he, he, came, he went from 226, upper 226 to 231. And, and now we started to come back down. So now we're gonna make our next push for conditioning. I also added cardio back in. Uh, so this is his first time doing cardio since he injured his leg. And I think these two factors alone are gonna really start to you know, induce a greater change. Um, so we still have, you know, we're 26 to 226 right now, seven weeks out, gotta make it down to 212. So we started to crank things up this week, made a few diet changes, and then uh, we'll just start to get after it. So that's basically the only changes for this week. I'm very, very excited for this show. There's going to be a lot of really great talent, and I want to you know, just see John up there against the best and see where he stands. So just continue to follow along, and I thank you guys for the support. All right, what's up, guys? We're here at the Muscle Factory in San Antonio today. I'm training quads and calves. Uh, I did the same workout two and a half, two weeks ago. I'm now seven and a half weeks out from my show, so we'll see how strength's holding up, go through some exercises, and get to it. All right, so super squat is the first exercise that I'm doing today. My other training day, I do hack squats. Uh, I like the super squat to get a good focus on my quads doing it. On the, the setup on these, just keep a shoulder width stance. Feet are about mid-platform for me. Now, if you have longer legs, you might be a little higher on the platform. I'm um, just trying to go down and keep my weight in my heels. And just trying to push with heels that kind of outside of my foot as well. Uh, come down, I try to keep my lower back on the pad, but I usually tend to go a little lower. My lower back comes off the pad a little bit, but I try to really limit any type of trunk flexion and keep a neutral spine during it. Just control eccentric down, explosive concentric up. Uh, I'm just warming up slow here, it's the first exercise, so I usually start with a 100 pound plate, and I'm just gonna go add a 45, and then uh, go up by another 100 pound plate, add a 45, and just go up till I hit my first two work sets, so. Right, so I've gone through all my warm-up sets. I've done like four warm-up sets. I'll go on to my first work set. So last time, two weeks ago, I did uh, 600 pounds for seven reps. And I guess keep keep in mind that was like, I'm pretty sure that was like four weeks after I tore my rec fam, my injury. So it's kind of been a new baseline for me. But warming up, everything feels really, really smooth. So I'll go back up, I'll hit the same weight, do 600 and uh, I did seven reps, so I'll try to try to match that or, or beat it if I, if I can. So on that set, I actually hit one more rep than I did last time, which is great, because I've been on a string of my lower carb days, hit a low body weight low today. So I mean, there's, there's no reason why you can't still keep progressing your weights and reps while you're on prep. You know, I'm set seven weeks out, I'm still able to do it. It's not always the case, but um, you gotta fight for them. We gotta really fight for that last one. So uh, that's why important. Like I keep telling you all every week, keep a logbook so you know what to fight for. But we're going to my second set. I did uh, 490 for um, nine reps last time, so try to beat it.
so that was my last set on the super squat. Did really good on that one. Ended up getting 12 reps. Felt great. Um, gonna move on now to a banded 40 degree leg press. And I always use the bands on this one because it accommodates the strength curve really well. Because at the very top of the leg press, you have the, the most mechanical advantage. So the bands give you the added resistance so you feel like a constant tension from bottom all the way to the top. And that's what you want. Work the muscle with the most tension through the full range of motion, full range of motion possible. So I'll probably do two warm-up sets here and then get into my first work set. Set up on the sleigh press, I'm just doing like a, a close stance. Toes are angled out just slightly, maybe 15 degrees uh, towards the bottom of the platform to so try to emphasize quads more. Just control down to the point of the chest and explode up. Um, I, w I did do three sets of the same weight last, last time. I, I might back that down to two, just see, see how it feels. So I'm seeing how I'm like, trying to judge performance and see if I need to back off on sets and go from there. One, last time I did 600 for uh, 15 reps, then I hit 10 reps, and then I hit five reps after that. So get into set one, see what we can do. Set one, I hit 17 reps, last time was 15, so it was good improvement. Move on to set number two, try to hit 10 reps or above. Second set, I did one extra rep for them from last time. So, like I said before, I did three sets last workout. And this is like when I judge like if I should be taking sets out is based on like kind of my performance. So if I had done these two sets and performance was, was dropping from last time, I wouldn't do my third set. And this, this baseline I'm working off of is what I started off in the off season. Um, so, since I'm doing more reps, I'm gonna stick with the same work training volume for now. And I'll do three sets. So this will be my third set. Last time I only hit five reps, so at least try to hit that this time. So now we're going on to a dumbbell split squat. Uh, 
initially was doing Smith Machine squat squats, but I get I get better range of motion with these. And it's been part of my rehab for my rec fim, so I'm still trying to strengthen all those hip flexors. This does a really good job on it. But also like being able to balance with an arm and being able to control on the, the front foot, I'm really trying to push off with my heel and the outside of my foot. But you can you can put a lot of tension into your lateralis way. Man, it's been it's been great for blowing up my quad sweep. So I've liked them, but I'll I'll, I'll start off. We'll do three sets, I'm trying to hit 12 reps each leg, and I'll take a minute break between each leg. So I don't want to go straight into the other leg, being kind of pre fatigued. Um, I want that rest period so I can put you know a full amount of energy into the set. I do this movement a little different than my other ones. Normally I, I work up to a set of like 8 to 10 to failure, back off and wait and do another set of failure. On this one I, I work up to a weight that I can hit for 12 reps, that I can continue to hit for 12 reps for three total sets. Um, if I can complete that, then the next time I rotate through, I will go up and wait from there. So I'm, I'm just, uh, my last workout, it was the first time doing these after after rehabbing my quad. So I was doing 45, 60, and 80 pounds. So today I'm just starting with 80 pounds and I'll work through all three sets with it. If I hit 12 on all those sets, then I'll go up and wait. And I think it's a safety standpoint there. There's a lot of coordination that occurs with this movement. So it's safer just to pick a weight and try to hit 12 reps each time and then go up as you're able to do so. thing for quads, move on to leg extension, so get an isometric movement at the end. Just going to do three sets here, something higher reps, so try to get more metabolic stress, get more pump, finish it off. I'm going to do a set of 30, a set of 20, and a set of 10. That's it for quads, gonna move on to some calves, do donkey calf raise. All right, so donkey calf raise, I'm just gonna do one all out set, and that's it for today. Do a triple drop set, try to hit 15 reps on each drop, full range of motion, do a slight pause at the bottom, take away any stretch reflex there is. One set, here we go.
That's it for quads and calves today. Well, that wrapped up this week's update. Um, I expect to see quite a bit of change this next week, so stay tuned for my six weeks out update. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel so y'all can keep up to date on when I am posting these because these next couple weeks there's going to be a lot of changes in my physique go happening and these workouts are going to get really, really intense to have to maintain strength. So thanks again guys for, for all the support and watching these videos and leaving comments. I, I do appreciate it and I will talk to you next week.